Hey there, I'm ZG311, and what's happening with the world these days? Well, we're just about to dive in from last month's February, because today it is the 1st of March, and it's snowing. It's not the best kind of snow, but it's like... Snow, snow, anyway. <clears throat> uh, it was a good morning. Mmm, my chest hurts. So... What's been happening? I'm gonna put you over here. Not perfect. So basically, what's been happening last month? A lot of things have been happening last month. New uh, staff members, really nice people and all that. They're learning pretty well with the waves of the kitchen. Uh, Minicon up in Belfast did my first test run on Sephiroth, and I gotta say, worked out well. Everyone liked the black more than the, the grey trousers, which was a rough idea. Uh, most people actually liked the idea of like a combination between soldier outfit to Sephiroth's classic outfit, so. No, it was pretty good. Mm. And I had a fun time. Especially with the RPG table. Basically, they created an RPG based off of Disney. And clearly, it's the same of everything owned by Disney. So, it's like, all the classic Disney characters, all the Marvel, all Star Wars. All in one universe, just going crazy. But that's not just the point. You know, like, basically... Normal RPGs, they let you choose your own character. You be what you want to be and all that. This one doesn't do that. Instead, you roll a dice to see what number you get. And the number you get is the character you're being. I got Syndrome from The Incredibles. It was crazy as hell. And the best people they got. Stitch, Anakin, Ahsoka, <laughs> Tony Stark, and Nick Frost. From, not... The, the actor Nick Frost, but like Nick from Zootopia. And it's one of those drop-in, drop-out RPGs, so someone can jump in at any time and become um, randomize a character for them. It's crazy. Don't know if they're doing it at QCon. If they're doing it at QCon, go have a go of it. You'll love it. You'll laugh. Sadly, I did get some of the photos for the on Sephiroth over there to test from, but I did a wee photo shoot there last Tuesday, so be sure to check out my Instagram and have a look at it, see if you like it. It's just going to be me eating toast. <laughs> oh, that's good. The other thing is, another shootout has occurred in America. You know which one it is, it's the latest one, it's the Florida shootout in Parkland. Personally, it's not, it's, it's devastated. All those young teenagers lost their lives, but at the same time, those teenagers are standing up and starting to shout out loud. It's the old people that are not listening. And when I say old, I'm talking about Trump. Now, he is 70, right? I don't know. I think I am 70, but I feel like I'm 25 with my orange tan. It's going to be me eating toast and sipping coffee. I'm surprised, like... Well, does that... Um, what are my thoughts on gun control? If you haven't noticed, I'm... Well, I, I live in a country where it's complicated. But one thing's for certain they did right will be gun control. Now, you don't see any, like, shootouts happening here and there in Bangor or in Belfast. But even in Scotland... The history of that will be there was a shootout in Scotland back in the 90s 
And because of that, the government have stricken like gun controls and banned them and all that, making it harder for people to purchase guns. And that's a good thing. I do hope these kids, these are the, the future. These kids would become what we all want. A country, no, not just a country. A world that believes in equal rights for everyone. No hate, no racists, no sex, nothing. Not even guns. I mean, we all, we are all have been put on this world for a reason. Some people want to make the world a better place for the future. And some people just like to screw everyone up. Either way, it should really ban guns. Full story. Full stop. Why did I say story? For, I mean, for the love of God, like, they even... This is his idea. Give teachers guns. It's stupid. It's literally a stupid idea. Giving a teacher a gun doesn't solve anything. In fact, it will actually make an accident. It will cause an accident. <sighs> yeah. Trump, your president. Or so they say. He's just a wee baby. Next thing I want to say. Away from the whole gun things. Moving on to something else. It's the future of YouTube. And what's happened with the Pokemon Abridge videos. Starting off with. YouTube has... Given ads back to Logan Paul in just two weeks. What happened to you, man? You used to be so cool. Literally, you used to be so cool. I remember back in the day where you didn't give a crap about people doing this and that and all that. But then you just got a wee bit more grey and more thinking more about the trends. Popular people like Jimmy Fallon, you know, all those kinds of people. And you don't give a single shred of attention to like. People who have worked hard in animation and all that. All you care about is just trends. That's why you have Logan Paul. <laughs> I should just call it Toast Vlog. Because I mean some nice crispy buttery toast. The other thing as well is the future for my channel as well. And this is the reason why. Starting off with the uh, the Pokemon Abridged things, they haven't been up because copyright infringements, which is understandable. But even if you like edit that a wee bit more, more reasons for it to be blocked worldwide. It is like... Don't get me wrong. It is a good idea to like stop people from like making like a cheap merch or stuff like that but then you've got other people who are just making videos for fun voicing the characters that they beloved and all that. I mean it's the same thing with like not just my situation but like people like Leo Kribo, Team Four Star those kinds of people who are making these abridged videos are getting the same situations as well if you haven't noticed this by now looks like I just broke a fun there the other thing as well, remember that I said that um, that videos and some of those videos will be up on Daily Motion. Unfortunately, not for Pokemon Abridged because it breached a cop like one of the guideline rules, which I thought Daily Motion wasn't all about copyright stuff. It did well, still. I mean, the One Punch Abridged teaser is up, just not Pokemon. Yet. On YouTube, I'm allowed to upload organization cosplay and the Akatsuki meeting. 
Do you see where I'm coming from? So at the moment, I'm working on the Akatsuki meeting in episode 3, as well as among others. But YouTube is becoming more and more just cares about its own thing rather than people making videos for a living. Don't get me wrong, like, I'll still, like, like I said before, I still have the Pokemon Abridged video. I can share it with friends and all that. Show them what it is. That's as far as I can go. But that's pretty much it. So I don't know what's going to be happening with the channel. Or its future. Maybe, maybe, I could just make a new channel. Because this channel has been through a lot since 2011. Maybe. I don't know. What do you guys think? That's pretty much my two cents here. So I'm going to enjoy this rest of this toast. Drink the rest of this coffee. Chill out in my nice warm bed. <laughs> and just play some video games or something like that. So if you like this video, be sure to like, give a wee tick, and touch that bell to get some more notifications. And if you like what you see, just like... Tap the subscribe got subscribe subscribe button on the <laughs> and just tap that subscribe button on its back. I'll catch you all later. Later.